All right, guys, so um, we are about to enter the Cosmopolitan. We're gonna go check out a couple of our favorite bars, have a drink apiece. Yes. Um, and tell you guys how the drinks are and share a little bit of what we like. Um, and just enjoy it. Yes, there are six lounges at the Cosmo. We're gonna try all of them. And hopefully. Say, hopefully, <laughs> that's our goal. And uh, we'll let you know what we think and what we ordered. All right, come follow us along. So at the Vesper Bar here, um, it's located just off the lobby here at the Cosmo. You'll see it when you're checking in. Um, it's a really cool bar. Uh, it has a lot of mirrored tiles around, has some neon accents. Um, it's just a really cool contemporary bar with a classic look. Um, they have a good signature cocktail menu here. Um, and then also you can ask if you're looking for something specific, you can ask, like I told the bartender, I'm looking for something refreshing and he's gonna make me something. So this is the most certainly wood. It's a Nevada H&C smoke wagon bourbon, strawberry infused Campari, Vesper vermouth blend, and smoke. Let's give it a shot. Definitely smoky. It smells delicious. Oh man, Good how is it? A bourbon. Okay. This is awesome. So it's, um, old fashions, of course, are always great. A good go-to. It's definitely not an old fashioned, definitely heavy on the bourbon, but not overpowering where it's like, um, just nice and smooth. But again, I'm a fan of bourbon, so maybe it's a biased opinion, um, but delicious. You'd come back and get this again? Oh yeah, definitely I'd get this again. All right, awesome. All right, this is a Sonia. Woo! Pendrous gin, elder flower, St. Germain liqueur. It's gonna have fresh lime juice. You're gonna have candy, ginger, mint, cucumber, muddle inside. Shaking up on string, top with ginger beer and a dash of Angostura. Garnish is making candy. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Thanks, All right, babe. So you're drinking a Sonia at the Vesper. I am. I am. He remember he specially made this. These are candy ginger, which I'm gonna have in a second. But... So I gotta ask Cameron for a Sonia. Not my Sonia. Uh, this Sonia. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Delicious. No, I totally get that again. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's so refreshing. It's like a hint of ginger. He's right. It's very, um, a very light Moscow mule, but just more really refreshing. So we are at the Chandelier Bar, guys. We are at the famous bar at the Cosmopolitan. Um, they have three different levels. Level one, uh, which is open 24 hours daily, is their, is their bottom level. Then level 1.5, it's open until 5 p.m. and I think it's open until about 2 a.m. daily. Um, and then level two, which is the one we're at right now, is open Monday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to about 3 a.m. And then I think Friday and Saturday it opens at 9 a.m. So you've got some options when you come here. Um, the Chandelier Bar is just a really, really nice, fun place to just hang out at. It's a very sophisticated cocktail bar. Um, has a very inviting lounge. I mean, you're sitting in a Chandelier Bar. I mean, how cool is that? So definitely a place to come and check out. One of their famous drinks that you've probably heard of is the... the uh, Verbena. The Verbena, which is similar to like... A, a margarita. Margarita, kind of twist between a margarita and a lemonade, I think. It has a little edible... Um, bulb if you will it's a buzz button yes and uh it's supposed to change and kind of alter the taste of the drink we have gotten it it's, it's pretty good i mean it's not bad it's not anything i'd probably get again i'll be honest with you um i didn't like the feeling of the buzz button but uh, some people like it so it, it the, the, the drink itself was fairly good i think by itself so hope you can make it to the chandelier bar St. George.
Liqueur Spice Pear, Madagascar Vanilla Liqueur, Citrus, Cocoa Chai Syrup, and Bubbly. So we'll see how that is. So Dave got the Finishing School. It is a charming rendition of the iconic Moscow Mule. It has um, syrup, lemon, strawberry rhubarb rose syrup, ginger beer, and plum bitters. four every day and stays open it just says late on the website um, they do have a Sunday brunch um, but it wasn't open today we're here on a Sunday so maybe during football games things like that it's a really cool little um, relaxing kind of environment here it's right off of um, the Chelsea Tower on the first floor um, it's really cool because they also do personalized table side mixology classes and nightly entertainment here so they also offer um, house main mixers and just signature cocktails so definitely come check it out Alright guys, so we just got out of the ski lodge. Amazing place. Really good. Christian, right? That was the name Christian. of the Christian. Yeah, the bartender. Uh-huh. Took care of us. He was super awesome. Super, super cool guy. Um, I, I gotta say, I think that the two drinks we got there were the best two drinks that we've had. So far. So far. Of the, we've done four of the six lounges here in the hospital. So um, yeah. If you haven't checked out the ski lodge and had a drink there, definitely do it. Do it. It's a fun place. Do it. Yeah. 
So we're here at the donkey bar now. It opens at four o'clock, and so um, yeah, it's, early. it's popular. So this is the mezcal bar here, where they have kind of like Mexican food. They, I think they're known for their nachos, like their truffle nachos. Um, so mezcal inspired, like margaritas, things like that. So we're gonna check it out. We'll see. Okay, so this one is the watermelon basil margarita. It is made with rayo mezcal, basil, agave, fresh watermelon, and lime juice. And now we have the lavender vita loca. It is made with vita mezcal, kettle one, grapefruit, and rose vodka, Saint Germain elderflower liqueur, lavender, and fresh lime. Definitely. Bourbon or whiskey, that's all. Awesome. So, what does it come with, babe? Oh, I don't know what's in it, but it comes with the flask. <laughs> it so you does. Can take this with you, and there's a little bit more in here. And it serves two. It's like 38 bucks. It serves two. Yeah. Um, and you can take the flask with you. So, yeah, good, good drink. It's a whiskey drink, so it's delicious. Yeah, this is a cool place, guys. Um, it is the barber shop. It's the speakeasy here in the Cosmo. You know, you go up there. And the guy's like, you need a haircut? And you're like, uh, yes. Yes, tell him you need a haircut. Because yeah. he's gonna say all we do is haircuts. <laughs> and then they'll let you in, so yeah. No but, passwords, just get a haircut. Yeah, just, just get a haircut, for sure. Even though it's like, I need not, a haircut. yeah, so even though it's like 9 p.m. on a, you know, Monday, you need a haircut, so yeah. So this place, guys, doesn't open till about 8 p.m., I think, most days. Um, I think on the weekends, there's a cover to get in here. And they normally have live bands here. I want to say one day Bruno Mars showed up here and just played, oh, right? Yeah, randomly, yeah. Randomly. After his show at Park MGM, he came over. Yeah, Bruno came and just like hung out here and played with the people. So point is, is there's going to be a cover on the weekends, and you're going to pay to get in here. But cool little stage for sure. Then it um, turns into like uh, bottle service. So yeah. You have to have like a five hundred dollar. Right, to right. Get it's it's definitely. Uh, it's a high-class place, but like I said, you come on during the week, it's no cover, you can get in and have a drink, 
and it's uh, you, you'll have some still some little live bands and music playing. So, anyways, cool place. Uh, so we'll check it out. Hey guys, if you like this video and have any recommendations for places we should try, please let us know in the comments below any ideas for future vlogs. And thanks again for watching.